I'm here because I got a DUI and I was drinking and driving. I'm on a real limited income. Um, I've been having trouble finding a job and the jobs I've been having are real short term. I've been in crime for about two years. Without ACRS, I don't know where I'd be. I think I'd be lost. I see um, a bright future for ACRS. It began in 1973 with a handful of volunteers, basically young uh, and idealistic School of Social Work students and uh, older professionals. And they were literally finding members of our community who had been institutionalized for decades at Western State Hospital um, because they had been misdiagnosed. What are you getting? You ain't I'm here by myself. Uh, I just came to the United States. I don't have a lot, and um, here they provide me with food, so I'm willing to take it. The first time I started doing drugs was when I was 11. I smoked weed for the first time with my uncle's friends. Now I did ecstasy when I was 14. I was really angry. I dropped out of school when I was like 14, 15. My mom got pregnant. I came. I would babysit for her, you know, watch my baby brother, like, nobody supported me in school. Nobody supported me with anything, like, I was alone, and sometimes I don't know how to deal with it, and they usually know how to deal with it, and so that helps, like, me trying what they say. ACRS was one of the first to really step up and say there's a real need here for a culturally sensitive organization, an organization that has staff that speaks the different languages, that understands culture. So it's not just dealing with one issue, health care or uh, food insecurity or, or something else. It's, it's dealing with the person as a whole person. We've d developed a, a range of services, everything from uh, programs for kids, uh, youth violence prevention, and leadership training to programs for our seniors with uh, case management so that they can remain healthy in their homes as long as possible. Nutrition programs for seniors um, to uh, help break the social isolation, uh, make sure they get good nutrition and also a chance for, for healthy exercise and, and social activity. In addition to that, um, as we mentioned, the job training and placement, but also uh, citizenship services to help people become citizens. Cafe Hope began training its first group of baristas in January 2011 and uh, officially opened on March 28th, 2011. They learned how to operate a cash register, how to uh, make espresso drinks. I'm the supervisor. I provide customer service, peer support, and I manage the inventory. It's an example of an innovative community-based project uh, that empowers our clients and provides them with self-sufficiency and, and a, a, a means to recovery. It's also helped me by f providing service and pushing me to work harder. I really support all the efforts of uh, ACRS. It's not enough to have an interpreter who can speak the language. It's about um, eliminating disparities, eliminating barriers. It's essential that the person who serves our client also understands their culture. And it's about family. This is why uh, most of our staff um, come from the same countries and uh, cultures and experiences and language groups as the, the people that they serve. I think all food banks are special, but ACRS is, I like it here. They have rice here, um, they have vegetables here, um, and it's close to where I am. We come twice a week and we just take what we need so that other people can have what they need as well. Well, I'd definitely be homeless at this point, um, kind of teetering on the edge as it is, but this helps to provide that little bit of buffer that, you know, helps me get through month to month. There's usually a lot of people, especially when it's always really crowded. It feels good when you, you know, the end of the day, I feel good that I volunteer my time to help out, you know. You're welcome. It's a beacon for people who need help. 
Everywhere you look, ACRS has its arms out, reaching out to people and letting them know that all is well. They are the premier, I think, API uh, social service agency in the country. They serve so many people in our community and they've grown so much because it's been a reflection of the need that has occurred you know, in our economy these last 10, 15 years. And the reason that the national recognition has come is ACRS has really shown that there's a different model and that is a comprehensive model. In the beginning, when I got here, we would have to go to AA still, and you would have to say, like, hi, my name is Michelle, I'm an alcoholic. And when I would first go, I'm like, I'm not an alcoholic, I'm not going to say that. But eventually, I started warming up and, like, thinking more positively, and then I started learning more about alcohol and what it, the effects that it had on my life. And now that I'm sober, I think right, and now I feel like, now that I've learned so much from ACRS, I see like why I felt like that. And so when I feel like it's coming again, like the way I felt, I know how to like handle it. I guess I'd say I live for my brothers. I believe that ACRS um, empowers people. And um, I think that it's, it's a privilege to be part of that process of working with people as they um, courageously make changes to improve their lives, to save their lives, but also to improve and save the lives of others in their community. There's hope out there. You can still look and it's like sky's the limit. You can't, you gotta keep going. You can't like limit yourself at all. Because when you feel like it's gonna get bad, there it's gonna get better.